Welcome, my name is Lucas and this is Fortus Forums. As I promised you last week, I have something special for you. Um, it's not an intercom, it's not a camera, um, it's actually an AX Pro uh, Hikvision wireless alarm. There it is, this is the hub, this is the main hub, the control panel of the whole system um, that will connect to your uh, HikConnect cloud. Uh, there are two versions of this uh, system. There's a 96 and 64 zones um, type and obviously 96 it would take up to 96 zones uh, but also would take up to four cameras from your uh, local network. It uh, also would take up to four uh, CAM PAR um, detectors. Um, you can also have um, 32 uh, different areas uh, if you like as well. Uh, you can see here there is a reader on the front, there's some indicator lights on the top of the uh, unit. It doesn't have any LCD screen or anything like that. Um, it will tell you if the system is armed, disarmed or if it's the um, tamper or fault uh, by just looking at the indicator on the top but also at the indicator of the um, wireless uh, keypad as well. Uh, the unit is uh, 2.4 uh, GHz wireless and also has the uh, LAN connection at the back. So you have the Ethernet port. Uh, if that is a 96 series, it would have, you would have the two SIM cards. Uh, I have one SIM card already occupied here. Um, you have a tamper at the back as well. Uh, and there's a latch uh, that you slide in. So it's basically a, a, a bracket as well to fit into the, on, on to the wall. Um, just under the knee of the cable you see here, there's a QR code. You're gonna need that QR code to enroll this uh, system to your app on the phone, to the HIC Connect. Um, so you can take a no note of the serial number or just scan the QR code. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna scan the QR code and I'm gonna enroll this um, unit in a second. Um, but before I go there, I'm just going to show you a few other um, devices. So the next one is the uh, wireless keypad. Uh, so you can see here the wireless keypad, just in the mirror keypad, uh, with a few uh, indicator lights, LEDs um, at the top of the uh, unit. Um, you can just um, light them up if you like. So you can see, you, they, you know, you can nice, nicely see all the digits and the lights on the front and um, during the night time. Um, so once I press it, uh, I can just type, start typing the code if you like, a minimum uh, four digit code. Uh, although it obviously has a duress code as well if you need to. And um, it will tell you if the alarm is on or off, uh, if the system is armed or not, or if there's any issues with the system it will indicate with the triangle in the corner. Um, also has the, like a bracket on the top, on, on the back of the unit, it has a screw. Each unit has a turn uh, on and off button. When you uh, take off the back of the unit, there's an on off button and the battery pack that you just like to replace that. And every, I would say three years, uh, depends, you know, uh, on how many units you have there and um, how far they are from the main control panel. Uh, and next one, so once we have the keypad, we also have the uh, key fob. So you can arm and disarm the unit. You have it four buttons, uh, fully programmable. And um, the first one is the uh, to arm the system. The other one is to disarm. And also you have the two function keys that will allow you to uh, choose like a, as a tamper, I'm sorry, as a, as a panic button if you like or you can check the status you can you have multiple combinations i'm going to show you later on as well um what is that all about um also you have this um um kind of a panic button a wireless panic button so you can press the button and it will release uh, the alarm if you like or call the medical services if you need to uh you have this a uh, key uh, tags if you, need, if you need them as well you can enroll them to the system and you can arm and disarm the unit um, if you like uh, by just you not know, tapping the uh, the tag on the front of the control panel or if you have the wireless uh, reader you can also use them as well to arm the sound the system and um, I'll tell you uh, about them later on as well uh, obviously you have uh, different types of the 
magnetic um, uh, contacts. So these are contacts. So you can see these are a slim line contact. So nice and neat uh, looking um, contacts. Like you see here, um, it's quite tall. It will last a bit more than the typical wireless uh, contacts. Um, there's also indicator light on the front, I know if you notice. Um, obviously if you trigger that, it will start flashing. It will also indicate if you enroll this device to the system, um, you can find this device within the system if you like as well. Uh, I'll show you that later on as well. Um, another one, uh, the indoor speaker, I mean the sounder, um, quite loud as well. You can choose the volume, how loud it's gonna be. Um, so the wireless internal sounder, it's, it's really powerful. Um, again, it has the indicator light, so if the alarm is triggered, uh, it will start flashing, but also it will be really, really loud. Um, <clears throat> and the other one I have here, very simple PIR. Uh, so we pick it up, this is the way here, here you go. And uh, again, you have the screw on the bottom. Uh, so if you take it back, you see the battery and you have the tamper button as well. So we're just gonna put that all together back again. Oh, here you go. That's it. So PAR, um, very straightforward, uh, uh, um, simple, just you can use as also has a function for a chime. Uh, that's a cool one. If you have like, um, um, what you call it, um, the business and you have the front door and you like to and announce someone just walked in and you have this chime you know ringing in the background you can use those as well um, and the last but not least is the PAR with the built-in camera a maximum of uh, 640 by 480 uh, resolution uh, the VGA resolution so uh, again it will allow you to actually uh, view what is going on on the front of PAR with send a notification with a few snapshots and um, up to 10 snapshots can be sent through that unit uh, from that unit to your HIC Connect app and um, so you can see what is actually going on what is um, on the front of the unit if someone something triggered that unit and um, so that will trigger your app straight away as well um, there's plenty of uh, different other uh, devices like um, uh, the IO uh, extenders, if you like. The relays, I mean, you can use them. Um, the system, it's fully compatible with the Hit Connect app. And that would be the best way actually to set up the whole system. Um, you also have um, the, the, the connection between the cameras. So you can have up to four cameras connected to a 96 series um, uh, hub. Uh, if you have only the 64, and the entry level kind of uh, hub, uh, you can't add you can't add any cameras, um, and you can have only a two um, PAR with the camera um, on on board. So there's a few limitations in that 64 and um, hub. Uh, the 96 is a bit more advanced. If you're looking for something superb, that would be the way of no, that would be the way to go. And um, so what else? Um, I would say the best thing to do, I'm just going to show you how the system looks like from the HIC Connect perspective, uh, how to enroll devices, uh, particular devices, like I said, every single one of them, it's wireless. Um, so if you like to enroll any of them, you just need to uh, scan the QR code or there's like an enroll mode uh, at the control panel and you can just tap the device that you just turned on and enroll it to the system by just tapping on the front of the of the hub just on that reader uh, part of it so uh, let me let me scan the QR code uh, and I'm gonna enroll the system to my phone there all right So uh, there it is, and this is the app on the phone. I'm just gonna click the add button and scan the QR code on the back, at the back of the unit. Uh, so it's asking me to go and add this unit. Um, just because I had this unit added before, 
uh, it doesn't ask me to go through the whole process how to connect to the wireless. So it's really important that you will be connected to 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless, not the 5 gigahertz on your, uh, in your house or whatever house you're going to install this unit. And make sure the phone is connected to 2.4 and then the unit it will take the settings of your phone. I mean the, the SSID uh, number and the verification code, I mean the wireless key uh, from your phone and it will automatically and enroll itself to the Wi-Fi. So I'm just gonna go next. Uh, just I can change the name. So once I change the name, I can just save that. And here you go. That's the main unit enrolled. So I'm just gonna close the unit um, at the back so it won't come up with the tamper um, detection. So straight away I have my unit listed, so if I go and click into it, you can see I already created some uh, zones and, and, and some groups before. Um, so some areas like you see here. So you have the ground floor and the first floor, and that will be basically my house. Um, so each, each zone, I mean each area can be armed independently, so you can have the pair sets for each um, a zone if you like for each area I mean um, also you can just keep adding those so you can have plenty of different areas like I said you could have up to uh, 32 um, areas on this uh, on this on this uh, type of the module um, so if I like to go ahead and see my devices and just go ahead and see devices that I have already enrolled to my system so like you see here, every single one of them, you just need to scan the QR code. And once you scan the QR code, um, the system is going to pick it up automatically and enroll the device to your um, to your control panel, to your hub. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it in a second. Uh, before we go any further, you can see there is a status. The status will tell you if your main power supply is connected, Ethernet, if you're using the Ethernet uh, connection, Wi-Fi signal strength, um, uh, your GSM uh, as well if you have a SIM card plugged in. Um, data used, uh, if you are using any data, if for some reason you're not connected wirelessly, you can only connect via the uh, GSM. Uh, the battery status, the how much power you have left there, uh, the lead of the back of the unit itself, uh, so you can see it's closed now and the SIM card status and the wireless uh, noise level. Um, so all the information is, is all really nice and to see and easy to access. Um, so we're just going to go to settings on the right hand side and you can see the name, you can change the name of your uh, device if you need to. You have the user management, in the user management you have your user. If you have the HIC Connect Pro um, connected uh, with, this, uh, with this device, it will allow you to enroll multiple users. So as an installer you can enroll multiple users given them different rights and different access. Like you see here, um, I have my own here with the, all rights, the arm, the arm to bypass the zones if I need to, remote configuration, message and notifications and log and status query, all that is here. There's no key fobs enrolled to it or any uh, tag, so I can actually do it now. So you can see card and tag, I can just enroll it. So I just click the plus button. So I'm just gonna take one of the tags I have here. I'm just gonna put on the front of the unit and that's it. There you go, that's the first tag. Uh, so like you see, you can choose um, if that tag will be on or off. You can delete it anytime if you lose the tag. Uh, also, you have this operation tag, so you can have an operation tag or a patrol tag. Operation will arm the sound, patrol is just going to uh, check on the, any reader you have connected to your system. So once I have that um, enrolled, it's automatically enro enrolled to my, uh, to my user because this is the only user it's, it's, it's um, connected to it. So next one uh, you, we have here is the system. So in the system settings, uh, you have the simple configuration, so you can change the language. You have multiple languages here listed. Um, uh, also you have the time zone, so you can choose what the time zone you're in at the moment with the DST, uh, day uh, saving time settings and so on. 
and very simple. System options, um, this is more advanced um, options here you, you find on this page. So um, false auto arm, system status report, voice prompt. So the unit itself can actually talk to you um, and give you feedback about actually what is happening if the, um, one of the units is offline. It's uh, if there's any tamper or any, if the system is armed or disarmed as well. Um, so it can get you the feedback of what is actually going on. You can choose how loud it's going to be. So from zero to 10, uh, just have on zero right now. So it won't um, interfere what, to what we're doing. We can just set to one if you like for now. Um, audio tamper um, alarm, if you like, you can turn it on and off. Um, alarm duration, so I just minimize that to 10 seconds. You have custom, you can just choose as, as much as 15 minutes if you like to go off. Um, bypass on re-alarm, um, oh, on the re-arm, sorry. Um, so if one of the units, it's the status is, um, is it's actually um, triggered, uh, you can just um, uh, re-arm uh, re this uh, system and when it comes back to normal, it will actually um, include that to the back to the system fleet. Uh, panel fold uh, check. So this is the kind of uh, the reporting for you if you like to make sure that uh, whatever cameras are connected to the system are connected uh, or disconnected, you can just have that indicator. Battery fault check, it's really important to make sure the battery is in good condition. Landfall check, in this case I'm not using land so there's no need for that. But Wi-Fi and uh, cellular uh, fault check, I like to have those enabled. And AC power loss delay, so if you just lost the power or flick the switch yourself for like you know, a few seconds, you know, you can, you can just have that delay on. Um, you, ha you can have up, you know, 12 hours if you like. So it's nothing going to um, trigger. I mean, it won't notify you for 12 hours that uh, the power is, is, is gone. Um, but the unit will last up to 12 hours, so you should be grand. Um, so on the next one is arm options. Like you see, plenty of different uh, settings you can change and amend here. Um, like you see, the arm with faults. So if you have some faults going on there, you can still arm the system. It doesn't have to be like, you know, um, it's, it's not necessarily that it cannot be armed in you know, straight away. You can just choose in what type, type of conditions you can arm and disarm the system. Um, <clears throat> um, so you have the arm LED stays on. So it will tell you on the unit itself indicator if the system is armed or not. Uh, fault prompts on arming. So it will tell you if there's any faults going on uh, and early arm, if you need to, you can change that as well up to nine minutes uh, and 30 seconds. So enrollment mode, that's another option that will actually allow you to enroll devices uh, by just tapping your device uh, to the control panel. Um, so I can actually uh, enroll one of them. I have one of them. Uh, so you can hear uh, how it's uh, telling you to, to approach one of the devices. Like uh, this should be um, deleted beforehand, so I should be able to just uh, tap it there and uh, make sure just it's it's on first, maybe just just in case. Um, so yeah, it wasn't it wasn't on, so you had this uh, on and off. Oh, straight away enrolled. It's so so powerful. So it, it detects this device straight away, um, because the rest of my devices aren't uh, are connected already. So there's no need for them. Uh, so once you have it, you know, enrolled to the system, you just put the screw back on and install on the on the wall. Um, so there's a two type of the brackets uh, for this type of the PAR. So you can you know if you have a strange angle. Uh, you can use them as well. Uh, so once I have um, this device enrolled, I just click the exit. That's it. And go back to our main page and in my devices, you should be able to see the new device here as well. 
So there is the wider zone number five. If I click into it, I can go and change the name. So straight away, I can just call it like a, a corridor um, ground floor, for example. There you go. And it's plenty of options. You can also see here, I can change. So uh, zone number. So what's the actual zone for this device is associated with the linked area. So I can choose between the first floor or ground floor in my case. Um, or I can just create another um, array if you like. Um, instant zone or delay 24 hours disabled altogether. So you can choose that to be disabled if you need to as well. Um, stay on, bypass, fall bit, uh, bypass on arm and chime. That's the cool one actually, I can, I can turn that on for a second. There you go, that's cool. So if you have it at the main entrance maybe, um, in your business, you can um, trigger the chime if you like, if someone has just come into your shop or so. Uh, so you have the chime with a single tone, a continuous tone if you like as well. Um, silent alarm, um, so that's another option. There's, like you see, there's so many of them. It's so advanced. Uh, sounder delay time, uh, double knock, so if you like, you can just make sure it's a double knock so it won't trigger straight away. In the next five seconds, in this case, I have it set to if it trigger again, then it actually is gonna notify um, the control panel and trigger the alarm. Um, <clears throat> cross zones, that is another one. You can cross that with any other uh, device that you have connected. So um, linked cameras. So if you have your cameras connected to your system, like uh, I do, um, you can choose, like as I said, with this system you can have up to four cameras connected from your recorder. Uh, so I can just choose number two, all right, and just link that. Um, oh yeah, it's already linked to a different device, so I have it linked to actual um, uh, contacts. So in this case, I won't be able to link it to this device anymore. I would have to remove it from the contacts and connect it to this one. Um, LED, so LED it will just be, it's going to be indicator on the front of the unit. Uh, so you can see here, there's a small light indicator. <coughs> so uh, another cool feature is you can check the signal strength. Uh, so you can test the unit and how good is the wireless connection. Uh, it's a dual um, wireless connections you have there. So just to get the best uh, coverage for your devices connected. Um, detection zone tested, so you can do like a walk test if you like as well. Um, or you can go and find me. So if you go find me and click the start button, actually the unit itself start flashing. So you know this is the unit you know you, you actually amended the settings of. Um, <clears throat> So uh, you can also turn on and off the bypass if you like. There you go. So once I have the uh, main hub enabled for audible notifications, it will, it will tell me what is actually going on. It's it's my no, it's it's a great help in a case when you're setting them up for the first time just to make sure everything's working. So like you see, there's this. There's a status page here and you can tell what is going on with this device, what are the main um, options are uh, set to. Um, like you see, there's plenty of other devices that have enrolled to the system. Um, what else we have there, as I said, there's a keypad. Uh, so if you go to the keypad, uh, you can check the battery status again, signal strength and so on. You can amend the settings and you can link to the different areas or to the old areas if you like um, you can also have an uh, arm without a password so you can just tap the uh, small button on the bottom of the page of the unit i mean and you can arm the sound the system um, <clears throat> if you need to uh, silent, silent uh, panic alarm so you can have your panic alarm uh, on silent if you like um, medical alarm if you need to as well. There's also the fire uh, button shortcut if you need as well to trigger. 
um, out the lock time so it will lock the keypad automatically after one minute and 30 seconds if you'd like to unlock it you just click the um, the light bulb on the right hand side and you can just type it in the code um, and your code actually I'm going to show you where to set up your code so I'm just going to go back and we we'll go to our uh, control panel when you see the user management um, I can go to my username management and I can change the keypad password so I can just type it in four or six uh, up to two to six character code and um, also I can have my uh, duress code as well so like you see the tag is associated with my um, account as well with my uh, with my user uh, of course to, to the HitConnect account uh, it can be like not just one user logged in at a time you can have the same user uh, details logged in from multiple devices and so you can see them and uh, the hic pro connect will actually allow you to do a bit more regarding the user structure and you know you can hand over the site to the customer if you like and so on um, but that will be i would say um, a topic for a different webinar altogether um, <clears throat> so what else we have here uh, you see there's a um, the first one on the top uh, bar garden is called it's the one with the camera so if I go to the settings of this unit, I have, again, most of the settings the same. Uh, I have the image images in series. It's set to 10 right now. So it will send me 10 uh, snapshots. So based on those snapshots, I will be able to say, uh, to see and know who is on the front of the PAR to recognize if there is like one of the members of staff maybe or, or members of family the image resolution you can choose that between a VGA and 320 240 160 to 120 and um, just to uh, speed up the process of sender information and reduce the bandwidth if you like <laughs> but 640 by 480 it's, it's still nothing anyway and uh, trigger interval so it will trigger for the next 30 seconds it won't trigger for the next 30 seconds so it will trigger send 10 seconds um, uh, snapshots then it won't trigger again for another 30 seconds uh, and LED uh, LED again it will be the indicator on the front of the uh, unit um, that's really really straightforward um, if you like you see there's a small like a camera icon just underneath of the picture if I click that it will capture um, the whoever is on the front of it so I can just do it again so there it is it captured me now so if I go back to my uh, notifications you see here that's the capture there you go Let's just go back here and back into the units and back to the devices so what else we have here you have the wireless zone and um, and this is the panic button so if you like to go to the panic button I just go and change the panic button settings uh, like you see here I already change it to uh, panic zone medical zone if you like or disabled so it could be elder person and um, could be a husband in your uh, bedroom just uh, dying for tea and um, link cameras so you can link some cameras if you like to this unit as well um, and what is actually going to happen when you press the button so uh, i can just have a delay of double and um, so there's a few options i can choose from um, or you can just delete that like any other unit on the bottom of the page there's a delete button to remove that from the system um, so if you go to any of the uh, contacts, so you have the front door contact it's called in this system now um, I just go to the settings and again the same information all over again There's a, another information about the link the cameras. I have one of the cameras linked already um, On the other one from the other hand, I have the second camera linked So I have two different cameras linked from my uh, NVR and the NVR, uh, it's really an old um, type of the Hikvision. It's just an NVR AE series recorder. 
and that is fully compatible, fully backward compatible with even those type of the recorders. Um, I'll also show you how to actually add the camera to your system. So if you go back to settings of your device, um, you see there's an option for the network camera. So you can just go network camera, you see this is connected, it just fill up the information about the device, the NVR or the camera itself on the local network and, and just choose what camera I'd like to stream from this device, simple as that. So I just click the edit button, if I just uh, fill up the old uh, IP address, port number, username and password, just click the save button and that's it and it's saved. So I have the camera number one and three of my NVR connected to my system. So then uh, afterwards I can link two different devices to two different cameras if I need to. Um, so back to the devices again. Um, so you have, you have the kitchen window. If you go to settings of the kitchen window again, you have the chime option. So it will also indicate on the control panel that something is going on, that this unit has triggered. Um, you can have external contacts if you need to as well, connected to it. Um, <clears throat> standard delay time, that's another option, um, like for any other user, uh, for any other unit you have connected. Uh, you can delay the time that sander is going to be triggered. Um, if I go back again, um, I have this corridor, um, ground floor, that, 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 that's the one I enrolled most recently. Um, the keypad, the sander. So if you go to sander, you can see the status of the sander. Uh, if you go to the settings again, you have the volume, you have the three different um, volume uh, levels that you can change to. A zero will be completely silent. Um, you have the strobe flashlight, uh, you have the buzzer. Um, also, you can indicate if the, uh, the, the system is armed or disarmed or in uh, you can you can buzz it with the buzzer there um, so you can do the volume test if you need to signal test and, and so on um, <clears throat> as well as for the bigger outdoor sounder it's really really loud as well um, the outdoor sounder actually I'm just gonna show you quickly here uh, because this is the only one I didn't show you so uh, this is the sounder you have them with the uh, red and blue um, lead there on the front Oh, this way, sorry. Uh, so there is uh, at the back of the unit, um, yeah, you have the, on the bottom, actually you have the screw, just unscrew that and you have the access to, to the back of the, the, the on and off button. Um, so very simple, you have the strobe that it will flash and the speaker is actually at the bottom, at the, at the back of it. <coughs> So back to the uh, phone app, uh, what else we have here? So if I go to the settings of this big strap here, again, I have three levels of the volume. Um, alarm duration, again, you can choose uh, how long this is gonna actually, um, actually gonna be triggered for um, if the straw flash will uh, will light up or not, uh, the buzzer and so on. So the same options for indoor and an outdoor uh, sounder. Um, <clears throat> like you see here, the, the system is really, really user friendly. Like um, I got the system like a few days ago and it was really straightforward to enroll to your phone. Um, just like if you ever enroll the like a Wi-Fi doorbell, um, the same the same way. You just need to enroll via the 2.4 gigahertz wireless network. Um, so whatever this unit is going to be connected, make sure the wireless coverage is good enough. But obviously, if that will be within the house, um, it will be no problem. And um, so back to the areas. Like you see, each one of them, I can. Uh, trigger individually so I can just tap the icon and you can hear the system system is on now uh, I can do it for a first floor as well independently that's it and I can actually unlock them all together if I like so I can disarm them as well if you need to um, I can um, 
use those uh, small buttons on the bottom of the page. I can clear the alarms. I can unlock it. I mean, disarm the system or fully arm the system. Um, I can also share the system with somebody else. So I can share it via a QR code uh, or scan a QR code with somebody else here. Um, so what else I can show you here and uh, that I didn't show you just yet. So if you go back to the settings of the main unit, uh, you have those areas. So you can see there's a 32 areas. Each one of them can be renamed if you like and enabled. Uh, so you could have a shed at the back of the house and you could have the PAR or the contacts over there connected and just name it and 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 uh, have the pair set just for that one to be to be triggered or you can schedule when it's triggered so for example I will have my first floor and you can see it's out to arm out to disarm so I can just click that and choose the time frame for when it's on disarmed if that is an office or some other place you can fully um, than the psalm uh, without doing it manually. So these are um, the areas. Um, so you see here. The next one, uh, communication parameters. And um, this is where you can choose what's going to happen, how you're going to communicate with uh, the end user. So you can choose the mobile network parameter configuration. You can amend the settings. So in my case, I have this um, like a GOMO card. Um, so that's why I'm using like an air uh, APN network settings. Um, also, you have this data usage limit. So if you like, um, if you have the bandwidth allowance on your phone, um, you can also uh, just, you know, change those and you know, put the cap like eight gigabytes or something there. Uh, but usually, you know, these days they're all uh, unlimited. Um, what else? You have the push notification. So you have the the alarm center. So you can have two different types of the alarm center if you go and choose what the kind of notifications they will receive. Also, you have the app notification. So you can choose what type of the notification it will be sent to your app on the phone. Um, if you're like sick of some of them, like you know status indicator that you keep uh, getting the notifications that you on or this on the system, you can change that. Um, also on the phone calls, you can actually receive a call. So like you see here, I enter my phone number and I can choose in what case um, I will receive a phone call, an actual phone call. So also we can choose if I will receive the text message uh, in, in the case of the alarm. So I can, I can quickly uh, demonstrate that for you if you like. Um, so there is the phone. So I'm just going to trigger the alarm in a second. Maintenance, simple reboot or up, uh, upgrade device. It's it's cool because once it's in the hit connect, the hit connect will actually f uh, try to see, trying to find if there's any updates available. So if there's any, it will update that um, automatically. Uh, configure uh, the Wi-Fi, configure the Wi-Fi network. So in the case if you replace the modem or you switch the Wi-Fi. Uh, SSID name, you change it to something else, you might need to reconnect, you know, like you're definitely going to need to reconnect to the new Wi-Fi. Um, so that will allow you to do this. So you just go go through the process. Uh, first, you connect your phone to the Wi-Fi, then you connect your uh, device uh, through your phone. And authorization, so in the case we have the HIC, Pro, uh, HIC Connect Pro, um, that will allow you to um, assign this site to a different um, um, larger uh, kind of infrastructure. Um, so that's all the options here. So let me go back and look at the area. I'm just gonna arm the whole system so I can choose to arm the system individually by uh, ground floor, first floor in my case, or I can just fully arm the system by just uh, clicking the the icon on the left hand side bottom corner so there is the system is fully armed and actually the system should be triggered it's just going to trigger one of the uh, uh, detectors there you go you can hear the sound uh, i didn't want to put on the, <laughs> the maximum volume because it would be way too loud here um so I can clear that, I can unlock it. Um, so if I go clear, oh, here you go. And this is the actual phone 
call from the from the unit. So I can just answer it. Zone one alarm. Zone one alarm. Zone one alarm. Please press asterisk to confirm. So. So that's it, the call ended, so I acknowledge the alarm. Um, so that's that's the phone call you're gonna get. Uh, so if you're like, you know, you might have receiving multiple text messages or different notifications, but when it's actually a phone and there's a text just come up here now as well. Um, so when there's a phone call, you can more likely you will pick it up or just at least gonna look in your phone and see what is going on. Um, so yeah, there's a, uh, burglar alarm, ground floor zone one, simple as that with a timestamp. Simple, very, very simple and straightforward. And the beauty of that is that is really simple to set it up. Like once you enroll all your devices, uh, you can manage, like end user can manage them. They, there's no problem to actually go through every single one of them and change some settings. If you change something, there's no problem to um, default the unit and um, just to reset the unit if you like to. Uh, so I'm just going to unlock it, disarm. Here you go. Straightforward. So you see there's a uh, bogger alarms and there's uh, a yeah, contacts alarm. So if I click any of those buttons, I can just go and here you go. There is a 10 snapshots so you can tell who was there on the front of the unit. If there's any other, uh, like you see, uh, zone activated here. I have the zone linked to my f uh, to one of my cameras. I just go playback. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that camera is actually connected uh, to this one here. I'm just gonna double check. There is so there is a camera connected to um, to this uh, contact, and that will send me a, like a seven second uh, video of this. Uh, of this camera so very straightforward um, like these are the snapshots I took before manually uh, so all the logs are available here uh, like you see here everything whatever happens to the units it's all logged so you can see exactly what is going on and um, like you see the system system is really simple and um, oh yeah another thing I didn't show you um, the, the the wireless uh, key fob so you see there are two icons. Maybe I'm just gonna, um, just gonna get them closer to the camera. So you can see there's an on and this on on the top of the page and there's the two buttons on the bottom. Um, so if I press the button, if the system, if, if, if the key fob is enrolled to the system, uh, I will be able to on the sum and this, this, the hall alarm. So in order to enroll it, I need to no, get to to the page where I can actually enroll this to the system. So let me try to enroll it via the uh, enrollment page. So we we'll just go to system uh, configuration settings and system operations options enrollment mode. So we're going to try to enroll it this way. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to need to reset that. So um, I'm just going to need to open it. So I need to some. I'm just gonna get one of the screwdrivers here. So it's open. So you can see there's a battery in it, and in order to reset that unit, and. Um, you will need to press uh, the arm button. Uh, so before we do that, we need to remove the battery. So this is like how you default the, 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 the key fob. Like some of the devices, there's a different way of uh, defaulting them. And some of them will request to um, go ahead and actually um, press the on off button and remove the battery. Uh, some of them they will just need to uh, press the tamper button and then uh, turn it on if you like so the, for the, each one of them there's a different way so for this one it's the the arm button and 
We're just going to slide in the battery in a second. You see that uh, light indicating there three times. That means this this unit is the it's, it's it has been um, defaulted. So if I like to go back to my phone, I'm just gonna say it there now. I might just need to go back to the main page and go to devices and add it this way. So I'm just gonna add it by the QR code. So there's a QR code at the back of the units. All right, that has actually has been uh, added already. So if I go back and just see if this device is added, it's actually, sorry, it's a key fob here, battery. And you can see the key fob, it's assigned to my account. So there it is. So I can uh, press and hold uh, any of the buttons on the top and that will actually arm or disarm the unit. So if I click the disarm, it will disarm the whole unit for me. Uh, if I click arm, that will arm the unit. Uh, simple as that, really. Uh, there's additional options. So I'm just going to disarm. And button configuration so you can see first key and the second key also you have the arm key and the disarm key uh, you can assign different um, uh, options different uh, actions to them so if i will go with uh, for example arm key and disarm key uh, i can go with the audible panic alarm silent clear alarm so on so on um, so yeah there's so many uh, combinations of the keys you can use to trigger different um, different actions. So really, really cool, really straightforward. Um, so straight away it's assigned there. I can name it if like, if I have multiple key fobs, I can then name them um, the way I want. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's all that simple. It's all really, really, really simple if you like. Uh, it's, it's, it's all up to the user really what they're looking for to do with this uh, kind of alarm if they willing to see every single notification coming up on the phone or if you'd like to have them schedule different zones different areas um, uh, to a certain um, to certain um, devices so yeah it's it's really it's really something and um, I was like when I was first looking at that you know the design it's really cool and it's really nice looking piece of equipment um, they would be looking great on the wall um, and there's more coming like um, the whole system would be like a smart home so it will be fully integrated with the, the rest of the Hikvision equipment on, on some stage so um, at the moment it's what we have here it's the early stage it's, it's, it's already awesome piece of equipment so um, I can't wait for more to come um so yes if um if you have any questions regarding price uh please contact our um uh, sales department and um, if you like to um if you have a question uh, like a technical question uh you can write in the chat or you can uh, send us an email or give us a call if you like um and we we ready to answer all your questions uh, i hope <laughs> so um, thank you very much and I hope I, I show you the few bits and bobs and pros and cons of the system um, like there's definitely more pros than cons in this case uh, it's really really something it's really um, like a game changer I would say because um, the systems that you already know they're good they're reliable and they're really um, you know designed to you know what they're supposed to do but well, this is going to do everything what the current system already does for you. So um, um, I just want to see how is that actually going to work in, in the real life and what kind of feedback we're going to get from uh, the lads out there. Um, obviously, that will keep developing, like, um, you know, the Hikvision, if there's something that can be changed 
uh, improved, they're gonna do it for us. Um, so thank you very much again for watching. Um, uh, I will see you next week. Uh, and next week we have something else again. And um, like, as I say, we're gonna try to do it every week. And uh, so nearly 100 subscribers. Thank you very much for that. And um, it really is something I didn't expect that. But yeah, it's, it's, it's getting there. It's getting all our, our farm is, is getting bigger and bigger. So um, I hope it's gonna uh, explode on some stage. Um, that would be that would be awesome. Thank you very much. I uh, appreciate your time and stay awesome as always. Thank you. Take care. Bye.